Hi again then guys and welcome to another Forza Horizon 3 speed build, this time for a pretty exclusive exotic car, the Lamborghini Reventon. Kind of like a Murcielago in a fancy suit, if you will. It's inspired very much by the stealth fighter jets inside and out. Personally, I think it's a pretty cool looking car, a little bit overrated in terms of performance on most of the games that it's featured on, because it's not necessarily any better than something like an Aventador, or an LP640, or an LP670 is anyway. It basically just adds the exclusivity factor, so as a collector's piece, it's pretty cool, but beyond that... It's not going to blow your mind in terms of how good it actually is. Now for the drivetrain, I would of course recommend keeping all-wheel drive. As far as aspiration goes, again, pretty obvious, but go for that twin turbo to get your peak power of almost 1400 horses. As far as the rest, you guys know the drill. Lower the weight as much as you can, increase the power, as I just showed you, as much as you can. And for the rest, just fit everything to the car that has race in the title. Not rally race suspension gearbox diff tires everything and of course you can adjust it as with all of my tunes to different classes so if you take the essential concept of this build you could of course remove some things like maybe the weight loss package and the tires to have similar performance potentially in a lower class so feel free to do so these aren't just designed to be as fast as possible they're designed to be tunable and changeable now for the benchmark it's quick. 2.2 to 60 is pretty good. 4.2 to 100 is very good. 270 flat out isn't quite earth shattering compared to some of the other supercars, but it's definitely not bad. That's only around 3 to 5 miles per hour slower than some of the best cars in the category. So it's not going to be left behind by any of them, really, apart from the Bugatti EB110. And even then, you'd have to have a really long road to make use of that. As far as the gearbox, I would recommend a 2.96 final drive, then for the individual gears, 2.9, 1.99, 1.5, 1.18, 0.96 and 0.78. Then for the alignment, we've got neutral camber and tow, 4 degrees of caster. Anti-roll, as you can see, I've rounded off to 27 and 47. Springs we've got on 145, 248, and I've opted for the lowest ride height both on the front and the back. For the dampers, we've got those on 11, 17, 5 and 8. Aero obviously doesn't apply. And for the diff, we've got 100% on the acceleration side of things, and zero for decel. And for this particular car, I've opted for a pretty rear-biased split of 80%. So you've got that 20% going to the front to help you out off the line, on the dirt, etc. So, this tune is on my storefront, you can use the keywords down below to find it, but for now, let's actually take this car out on the street to see what it's capable of. Now, as I mentioned earlier on in this video, this car isn't necessarily quick enough to outrun everything else in the supercar or hypercar class, but it is more than quick enough to say that it can easily be outrun. Even if cars do outrun it, it's never by much. It's a strong all-rounder. So from that point of view, it is justified in being a fan of the car. It's just, I feel sometimes blown a little bit out of proportion as to how good this car actually is. But by all means, if you haven't checked it out, it's certainly not a bad car by any means. And I hope you enjoy using this tune. And of course, if you did, there are plenty more to check out here on the channel. But for now, as always, thanks for watching. 